the people of Hamburg, architecture buffs and classical music lovers worldwide have waited a long time for the Elbe Philharmonica Hall to be finished. Now seven years behind schedule, it's finally opened and a concert launched what's being called Germany's most important cultural project. Classical music and Germany. Hard to imagine one without the other. Now, the homeland of Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, Wagner and Strauss has opened a new showcase for one of its best known exports. The Elbe Philharmonic Hall in Hamburg is seen as a cultural monument that will rival Sydney's Opera House and Bilbao's Guggenheim Museum. It just opened this week with a concert, a light show, and the help of Germany's Chancellor and President. But it had already developed quite a reputation. For its location, jutting out into the Elbe River, for some of the best acoustics in the world, and for its audacious design. It's built on an old warehouse and topped by a glass structure that looks like waves or a ship's sails. It's a concert hall for a city that has earned its living on the sea. But Hamburg and Germany paid quite a price for it. The hall opened seven years late and cost 10 times more than its original budget. I'm not convinced that the result is as outstanding as was to be expected, but it turned out beautifully and the inside is very pretty too. They did a great job with the big hall. Hamburg could not have gotten anything better, but it's simply too expensive. Concerts are already sold out through July and visitors are flocking to Hamburg just for a glimpse. There will definitely be a lot of interest. They had the same issue in Sydney at the time when everyone was saying, oh my God, how ugly is that? Now everyone flying to Australia and going to Sydney first takes a picture of these funny shells lying on the beach which resemble an opera house. I really don't think this is a bad thing for Hamburg. The concert hall has more than 2,000 seats and none of them is further than 30 meters from the conductor. On opening night, no seat was empty as the orchestra played Beethoven and a performance that connected Germany's past with its future.